Mm-hmm. Spores, bugs. Interesting. Oh, good day, class. I didn't see you there. Oh, that was the lamest intro I could have done. My name is Professor Adventure, and welcome back to Magic School Bus Explores Space. Excuse me while I just up my chair there. There we go. Anyway, in the last episode, uh, we were told that we have to find three clues to find where Miss Frizzle is because this is very similar to the show um, in that Miss Frizzle's gone missing. Bus went into space, we got hit by meteorites, asteroids, whatever you call them. Almost lost my mouse there. And we got two of the three clues. So, uh, to recap, one of them is surrounded by a bunch of dust storms or something like that. And one of them has a moon named Io that has lava on it. So we need to go to one more planet to play one more mini game so that we can uh, figure out where Miss Frizzle is. And I get the sneaky feeling that the majority of these mini games are actually going to be just platforming mini games, not so many different mini games as we saw in the Magic School Bus Explores the Dinosaurs. But that is our next objective. So click on our map. And uh, where should we go next? Post in the comments if you uh, you remember this game. And where we should go next. I'm just joking. I'm going to choose. What's got really light gravity? The moon. Ah, the moon's boring though. Let's go to Mars. Go to Mars. We'll go to the moon afterward. Uh, just to see what the gravity is like. Because I noticed that the gravity was different on Pluto than it was Uranus. Um, ah, in space we go. Woo. That's cool. That didn't happen when we went to the Uranus. Oh my goodness, look at that. Whoa! It's the surface of Mars! Let's leave and explore the surface of Mars. Here we are. Can't be an educational show without learning some education, so take it away, Kaishi Yashi. I don't remember her name. You know, Mars is supposed to have a volcano that's three times as high as Mount Everest and as big around its base as the whole state of Missouri. Whoa, okay. Hello, mountain. That's on the other side of the planet. La, 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 la. <laughs> all the jokes they just force in here. You know, I always wonder about, like, all these old games. What happens... What, like, what has happened to the voice actors for most of these games just to see what they're doing. So, you know, I'm going to go through a little research and see what I can find out for you guys. But in the meantime, let's play our Mars mini game, which I'm pretty sure is going to be the same thing. Yep, oh, here we go. Yeah. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. Going to Mars. Oh, yeah. Oh, can't quite jump that high. If I jump onto... Actually, if I go over here, because I'm a clever, clever boy, and push this closer. And then jump up here. Oh, man. That synth uh, piano is pretty great. Oh, come on. I fell right through it. Probably going to need the jump boots, so let's just pick that up. Aha! Extra oxygen. That'll come in handy. What's that thing? I'm gonna touch it. Okay, that thing does nothing. I'm gonna get that because that looks like a rocket jetpack. There we go. Jump, jump. Oh, dang it. Alright, we'll just ride this one. Ride it on up. And wait for it. And wait for it. And wait for it. And wait for it. And oh, okay, jump. Oh, we gotta go higher. All right, rocket pack away. <laughs> Listen to that. That's awesome. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, we got our last point. Oh. For some reason, the game, like, goes, like, down to, like, the bottom desk bar, but it stays here. Anyway, into the ship. Alright. 
What is our last clue? This planet is so big that it almost could have become a star. Good guess, but I'm somewhere else. Oh, that's a guess button. Oh, I understand now. Oh, silly me. Jupiter, if I click on this. That'll be, yes, here we go. So we can use the notes that the kids made. Um, let's just go into the quick facts here. It's uh, it's pretty big across, eighty-eight point six five zero miles. So I think Jupiter is gonna be our our biggest one. So that might be the one we're looking for. Jupiter does have at least. Is that a six? It is sixteen moons and two rings. Uh, but is it the one we're looking for? I'm not sure. What if we go... Cool facts about Jupiter. Let's learn something. Let's learn something this episode. Cool facts about cool. Jupiter. Okay. Are you going to say these cool facts? No, cool you're going to leave me in the job. The dark here. You're going to leave me in the dark here. Uh, great red spots. I-O! E-O! I-E-O! E-I-O-U! That's what we're looking for. So we gotta go to Jupiter. Which means we're gonna need to play one more minigame. So we might as well play it on Jupiter. Alright. <laughs> Figured it out. Moving on. Away we go! Alright. Okie dokie 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 dokie. Ooh, space. Whoa. And we have made it to Jupiter. Oh, here we are. There goes the bus. Okay, I can kind of see how this game is a little bit further along than uh, the last one we played. But still, it feels like this one's lacking a lot more. In the other one, you can click on everything. This one, there's like nothing to click on. Anyway, let's go out the door so we can play the mini game, get the coin, save Miss Frizzle. Happy days! Alright, what you got? Oh, Carlos! Every time we see Carlos, take a click. Io's great! Look at all those volcanoes! But I thought only Earth, Mars, and Venus had volcanoes. That's not funny, dude. I thought you were supposed Io's to be funny. Great. Come on. Look at all those volcanoes! And he just repeats himself. Alright, we're going right into the minigame. Because that's not funny, dude. You're better than that. I know you're better than that. Who are we playing as? A Dalthy? Oh! This does not have. Uh, oh, the gravity here sucks! If I touch that, does it kill me? Oh, yeah, okay, so change my. Oh, pick up. Oh! I'm dead. Okay. Alright, it just takes you back and it restarts you. Okay. Alright, gotta get up here. Jump! Nope. I'm gonna go pick up that snowman because that might help a little bit. First, I'm gonna grab the air, and we're into the lava pit again. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Oh, come back! Uh, we're gonna go get those jump boots because this is this is ridiculous. I can't even jump with this. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna go get those spring boots. Make our oh come on! Go walk off the platform. Give me a break. Uh, got it. All right, here we go. Now wait till it's its peak and jump. That wasn't its peak, but that's okay. All right. Eh, it's not any better. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. All right. Wait till this goes over to the other side. We'll take the high road. See if that helps. I really want to hit that snowman though. Figure out. Oh, I almost lost my ride. Ah, uh, doesn't. Oh, okay. Almost didn't help me. But I made it. Alright, now that we got a bit better of a jump, we can go figure out what that snowman's all about. Get the snowman! That's it? Just points? Alright, jump over this! 
Yeah! Kinda glitched out a bit. Oh! Got, I think I got a spring boot. Get myself a little higher. Got to climb up here. But we lost our ride. Oh, it's coming back. Alright. And away we go! I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have a jetpack. Alright, there's our coin. This one definitely has much more hazards. Don't... Oh, I thought I almost fell in there. Then I have to go all the way back to the beginning. And then I have to do it all over again. But I think we're okay now. Oh, I'm gonna miss my ride. Okay, we're good. Wait till it's the edge. And... Oh! Got it! We did it! Yeah, it's weird. It, like, zips it down to, like, the bottom bar. But the game still stays, uh, intact. So those are the notes on Jupiter, which we can find. Actually, no. Is this the same thing as the sketchbook where we have to do the orbit thing? This is the pack and fill science experiment. Jupiter is the Ooh. largest planet in our solar system. See how many of each of the other planets can fit inside. Click on a planet to fill the dispenser. You can start or stop the flow of planets by clicking on the handle. Try to fill Jupiter up with just the right number of planets. So that means in the other planets, there were other similar mini games. I'm gonna have to go around and see what I can find. So how many Earths can we fit? A white effect ball. How many is that? Oh. Okay. How about how many Mercuries? And we can fit approximately that many. Okay, that's cute and all. So, you know, I think I got another little bit of a mission here. I gotta go find all the mini games and I gotta show you guys because I wanna try to show you guys the most of this game that I can. Back in the bus! We know you're here, Frizz. Show yourself. All right, throw the coin in here, so we can. I throw it in there, so we can get another guess. I think we're right. Hooray! We did it! And only two episodes. Well, that wasn't too hard. So now what? Do you just let me go wander space, or do we do it all over again? Wasn't that an okay. adventure class? Let's go back to the classroom Bathroom? and explore some more. Okay. Back into the classroom and explore some more. It doesn't just take me back here. Ah, uh, and then I click on the bus and we do the thing over again and click on the volcano. Does it? Okay. All right, Carlos, what you got to say? What's up, my homeboy? Can tell me no. Okay. Well, you know we found Miss Frizzle, and we're back on Earth, and that was ridiculously easy. Ah, <sighs> I think that's it for this episode, guys. So you know what? Stay tuned for the next one, where we're gonna go through uh, all the planets, find all the mini games, even the ones that we were at. Uh, and you know, we'll just have another round of this. Figure out where Miss Frizzles uh, goes to next. And, um, find her again, and then we'll call this a complete chapter of epic fun adventuring. So, thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, class is dismissed. Let the game load, because it's on disc. Here we go.